Sandra, President Biden tried to defend his administration's take on masks as critics call on both sides, and critics on both sides at least, call the guidance confusing. As I said last week, some people may want to continue to wear masks, even if they are fully vaccinated. That's a decision they can make. Some businesses may want to continue to require wearing masks. Let's all be kind and respectful to one another as we come out of this pandemic. Let's bring in our panel, Jenna Caldwell and Leslie Marshall are here with us now. It looked like this came as a surprise to the White House. Peter Ducey was telling us that the CDC informed them in the morning, just when the announcement was coming up at about 1 o'clock in the after 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Many governors were taken completely by surprise. People were left not knowing exactly how to comport themselves. The president, Leslie, has urged kindness here, but was it a fumble last Thursday? I honestly think it was a fumble by the CDC and not the Biden administration. And I think it's, it, you know, look, just the report that we just heard, we're still kind of scratching our heads. I just got back from Florida. My father-in-law passed away. My kids were supposed to go to school today, but now we're told, no, they can't. They have to quarantine, even though we were out mm. of state, not out of the country, and even though they're being vaccinated today. Bottom line here, John, is, as you heard, some businesses are going to say, mask off if you were fully vaccinated. But how does somebody prove they're fully vaccinated? We know there are already forged uh, proof of vaccine documents out there. And of course, we know there are people that wouldn't wear masks all along and people who refuse to be vaccinated. So I would say the confusion does go all around. And I do think it starts, quite frankly, especially with this latest call by the CDC. I heard a number of stories that people over the weekend walked into places without a mask on and were told that they had to put one on. Gianna, just a couple of weeks ago, the Centers for Disease Control was recommending that vaccinated people wear masks. Then they did this 180. Dr. Lena Wynn uh, wrote in the Washington Post, quote, if such a head-scratching turn of events had occurred under former President Donald Trump, the administration surely would have been blamed for the lack of coordination and resulting widespread confusion. The Biden team has excelled on many aspects of the COVID-19 response, but this was a major blunder that threatens to set back much of the progress made. President Biden needs to fix it urgently by urging kindness a few minutes ago. Did he fix it? No, no, absolutely not. And I wanted to first say, Leslie, I'm, uh, you have my prayers, your family are there in my prayers for the Thank passing you. of your, your um, father-in-law. But yeah, certainly I think that the, there's been a chaos in terms of the messaging from the Biden administration. I don't happen to disconnect the CDC from the Biden administration. They are the Biden administration. And candidate Joe Biden plainly spoke against uh, the CDC when Trump was in there. And he said that politics were being in play when it came to, to, to the, the issues of the coronavirus. This has become a slippery slope for Joe Biden, who was supposed to put together a cohesive message, and certainly uh, uh, members of governors and mayors across the country, and give them simple instructions for all to follow. But that's not what we're seeing right now. We're not seeing mm -hmm. the simple instructions. Governors from all across the country said, hey, they had no idea that this was going to come out. You see places in Illinois, for example, where we just had that live shot, where the governor said he's not going to rescind his uh, mass uh, um, uh, procedure. Therefore, are, is Joe Biden doing everything he really could be doing to calm the waves of the coronavirus and let people know that it's safe to get vaccinated, therefore it's safe to take off your mask? He isn't. And that's where it becomes a problem for a number of Americans. Now, you got to wonder whatever happened to this idea of following the science. Leslie, the, the zigzag nature of the CDC guidance on all of this, is it eroding the CDC's credibility? I mean, they, they are supposed to be the gold standard of disease hunters. And, and while there are still plenty of the world's best scientists who work there, uh, you know, they have certainly not exactly been like on the leading edge of guidance here. And they've made a number of mistakes and miscues in the past year. There are a few things with that, John, and it's a great question of what a lot of people are thinking about. Uh, look, in the last administration and in this administration, uh, there are those on both sides of the aisle that feel that the CDC has become far too politicized. Having said that, however, with a brand new virus and brand new five now variants and mutations of this virus and a brand new vaccine distributed by 
three different companies, Moderna, Pfizer, and Johnson & Johnson. This is a very fluid situation scientifically. So when they come up with science and research, not just day by day, but minute by minute, by minute they're putting that out, uh, not just to the government, but to the general public, and they're getting it, it out as fast as they can get it. So quite frankly, it's not that, you know, it may seem like, oh, they're lying to us, they're hiding something. No, every single day that goes by, we know more about the virus, we know about, more about wearing or not wearing masks, about vaccines, Vaccines, the level of effectiveness, these mutations, and so forth. And that's what I think we're seeing that comes across as confusion. And then a add to that uh, a lot of distrust, where I think many years ago, uh, if a government official said something, uh, if a CDC member, a, a doctor, a scientist said something, people listened. And I think yeah. a lot more people question authority nowadays, even if they don't have that bumper sticker and, on and their car. And Democrats, Gee, can take some responsibility for that. Democrats can take some responsibility for that because they politicized the COVID-19 virus from the very beginning. And we also have a press that's oh. derelict in their duties. Oh. The Bloom, Bloomberg me. put You're out a piece me. saying that Joe Biden had successfully handled COVID-19 and we're still in, this, in the midst of this pandemic. So everyone needs to do their jobs, the government officials and Joe Biden especially. We got to leave it there. Gianna Caldwell, Leslie Marshall, great to, to see you. Good discussion this afternoon. Appreciate it. <laughs> Enjoy you. the rest of your day. All right. Thank you, Gianna. Thank you.